So the word legend gets thrown out a little too lightly these days, but we are here with the legend, Mr. Bob Nightingale. Bob, thanks for joining us today. My pleasure, my pleasure. So Bob, we're here at the GM meetings, the manager's here today. Now the Dodgers, they're the story of the offseason. Just how do you just put it into perspective of what they did this offseason? Otani, Yamamoto, over a billion dollars committed. How do you put that into perspective based on what you've seen covering this game for so many years? Well, I've never seen so many reporters in one camp. I don't care. It was Yankees, Red Sox, Yankees, Red Sox combined. Uh, you know, 70, 90 reporters every day. Yeah, three quarter Japanese reporters. But it, it's well. The funny thing is with Otani, people are almost acting like he's never played. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. for it. I mean, when people at the Angel camp are laughing, like, why is everybody cares about his batting practice? He's taking batting practice a lot. So it's funny. It's almost like the Angels, you know, don't count. Uh, but just how much uh, notoriety people are making out of it now these with the Dodgers. Yeah, it's almost like the batting practice seen around the world. He even said himself as having a rookie mindset heading into the season, but just looking at him this year, he's not pitching, he's hitting. Just talk about the impact he had just as a DH, and what do you expect from this year with the Dodgers? I think he'll have a monster offensive season. He likes hitting that on pitching. I think pitching he does because people expect him to do it, but he loves hitting. That's his uh, bread and butter. So we'll see. I, mean, a, uh, I would think no reason why he can't hit 45 to 50 home runs you know, again and be that guy for protection and lineup. Yeah, when you look at, of course, he's an incredible player, right? But I think what a lot of people know is just kind of how he is around his teammates. Can he be one of the guys? What do you know about him as far as his leadership down to how he is in the clubhouse? You know, kind of quiet guy. You know, with the Angels at first, he was doing his own thing on a different field. And they say, wait a minute, no. you got to integrate yourself with the other players. So the players liked him. Uh, very quiet, you know, all baseball. You know, it really doesn't you know, go out at, at night, you know, on the road or at home, that sort of thing. So, yeah, they, they liked him personally, but it's not like they were hanging out. Yeah. And then, Bob, of course, a lot of the narrative soft season, for some fans, some people have the opinion that, oh, what the Dodgers do is bad for baseball. Stacking the deck to be the Avengers, right? like a super team. But in your opinion, do you think that it's good for baseball to have a Tony on the Dodgers? I think it's good for baseball for to have super teams. I mean, the Yankees were winning those World Series. People love that. And Boston was good. You know, love that. So I think people like the super teams just to see the root form or see them get knocked off. I mean, as much as the Dodgers have proved themselves, you know, next to that, who's better? Them or Atlanta? Coming to National League. So, um, people saw a super team last year in San Diego, the New York Mets, and their team made the playoffs. So, you know, just because you spend a lot of money doesn't guarantee success. Yeah, this is a sport, right? You can sign all these players, you can have this super roster, but you can't guarantee success. But are you more confident in this Dodgers team to go out there and win the World Series than you have any of the teams they've had in the past? You know, I, I mean, I thought they'd win the World Series in 2020. I thought they were the best team. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say the World Series contender. But if you ask me right now, you know, he's better than you know, Atlanta or L.A. And it's a coin flip. I mean, Atlanta is very good. Autonomous pitching might be a different story. But he's a DH. You know, it's not like J.D. Martinez. Did. I think he's a Dodgers. So, I mean, he's a pitcher, but not coming from nothing. So, uh, you know, they need Tyler Glass now to stay healthy. Uh, that's, that's a big thing. Better guys, too. So I think they're found this team, but I don't think, you know, on paper, they're, oh, there's so much burning by else. I think, I said, I think Atlanta's right there. But so if you did have to pinpoint just one concern, would it be the hell that starting rotation? Yeah, definitely. Just kind of getting Walker Bueller to come back. You need glass now to pitch more than 130 innings. Uh, you know, the bullpen got like a pieces, but it's not like that Josh Hader in that bullpen either. So, you know, I think the bullpen's a little bit more yeah, and as far as we've seen from this team, they signed Otani, they trade for Glass now, and they get Yamo, and they get Tiasco. Are the Dodgers done this offseason? Are you confident saying that? I can see them doing something small, so you kick them in or something like that. It's a small thing, but as far as big pieces, yeah, I would see them trading for Dylan C. So they're not going to you know, sign him up or anything like that. And on the Dylan C's front, do you anticipate the, the White Sox maybe moving before the season? Does it feel like more of a in season trade deadline type move? Probably in season, they're not getting close to what they want. I think if it goes anywhere right now, it would be the Yankees. Yankees still want their starter. So, uh, that would be the only team I can see right now. Nobody else has really made an offer that they want. Awesome. As far as last question, Kenley Jansen, there's been some whispers. Maybe the Dodgers are interested. Maybe they want a full-time closer.
Caesar. What do you hear about Kelly? He's only available to be $16 million a year. I think the Dodgers would take him back. I feel like I'm going to go in the first place. And, you know, if they really want, you know, like him that much, they never will like him as a Dodger. So I don't see him coming back. I think they think that, you know, he's not the same guy. We're going to stay on it. Awesome. Bob, thank you so much for joining us. As always, Mr. Bob Nightingale.